Pelarán hace En la esquina azul, con un récord de dos pelas ganadas, una perdida y las dos ganadas por la vía del knockout, pesando 138 libras. Directamente de Ensenada, Baja California, México. Leo, León Martínez. En la esquina pues, la esquina roja, su rival para este encuentro lo presento a ustedes con un récord de cinco peleas ganadas. Invicto, dos de ellos por la vía del knockout. Directamente de Gardens, Florida, Estados Unidos. Aquí está Aaron de Allen Key. Apunte. Preparar este encuentro el tercer hombre, la superficie del señor Manuel Rivero. Esto es Mushroom, The Zona y por supuesto Pit Online y el gobierno del estado de Jalisco. So we are set to go here in our opening contest here on Before the Bell. Corey Erdman and Darren Barker are calling the action here for you. Aaron Aponte and Leo Leon Martinez kicking things off for us. Six rounds in the light welterweight division. You see Aaron Aponte in the green and white trunks. Leo Leon Martinez in the silver trimmed with white. So Aponte walking to the ring with sunglasses and... The future is indeed forecasted to be bright for Aaron Aponte, who had a sparkling amateur record of 98 and 18, a five-time national amateur champion. Yeah, I've been impressed with Aponte. What I've seen, he's a nice, tall, rangy fighter. He's a nice high guard, always thinking, throws a lovely overhand right. When the uh, opportunity comes, you see there, nice little feint. He always tries to draw the lead. That's good work from Martinez on the back foot. Good right hand connects from Martinez. There was a body shot from Aponte that connected in there as well. And one kind of tactical quirk of Aponte, you might say, is that he started his boxing schooling under a, a Cuban trainer by the name of Angel Espinoza. And Darren, as you know, a lot of times in the Cuban schools, they'll teach you to use your more dominant hand as your lead hand. So Aponte readily admits that his best shots typically come with his left. Yeah, there was a, a friend of mine, good fighter back in the UK, Kevin Mitchell, and he was exactly the same. He was an orthodox fighter, but he was, uh, he was left-handed and used to triple up the, the work with the left. He was, was so spiteful with the shot. And we see Aponte do that at times. Very good fighter, very intelligent. But the one thing we can say about Martinez is the two wins that he does have are by KO. So he obviously punches. You can see there he puts everything into the shot. He doesn't hold back. So Aponte has got to be aware wary of what's coming back at him. He just missed with a left hook there nearly connected from Martinez. As you mentioned, both of his wins have come by way of knockout. He was stopped in his most recent bout of the fourth round by Juan Meza. That was in February of this year. Yeah, I think the issue with Martinez is there are always going to be openings against him because, like I say, he does load up with big shots. So someone like a Ponte with that amateur pedigree, always thinking he will find the openings, but like I say, he has to be wary of what's coming back. Martinez looking for a left uppercut, comes up short. Ponte darts back in with a right hand. Yeah, it's a short jab. Also from Martinez. Just needs to see him, that was good work with a jab. Good variation, head, body. Just a few more feints, trying to draw out that lead. Of Martinez, like I say, he does want to trade with Aponte, so I'm pretty sure he will take the bait. Good shot there for yeah. Martinez. A much better start than one might have expected for the underdog, Leo Leon Martinez.
Yeah, I mean, it was a good solid start initially from Aponte, but Martinez always looking to trade and land the big shot. You see there landing a nice long left hook, missing with the, the second one, but does look like a dangerous puncher if given the opportunity to plant his feet. So Aponte needs to be smart. Like I say, plenty of feints get behind the jab. Doesn't, be, doesn't need to be looking for the big shot this early in the contest. Round two underway. We'll see what adjustments the alien king, Aaron Aponte, can make here. It was a pretty good start for Leo Leon Martinez. Maybe catching Aponte a little bit off guard. And Darren, you do see this sometimes that you, know, you get in there with a guy who's a little bit unorthodox like Leo Leon Martinez. He's stepping through on his shots. He's throwing wide. And maybe you need a round to get things going. And that straight right hand is a lot like what you were calling for in round one. Yeah, exactly. And I think the jab as well, just getting some nice rhythm behind the jab, good variation with it to the body, we've already seen that in the first round and the right hand will follow, that's for sure I like what he's doing at the start of this second round, plenty of feints, and you can see Martinez, he looks to parry the shot, or drop his hands, or fire back with shots, and that's when Aponte will find the openings just needs to be patient like he is now don't need to rush anything that was a good left long, uh, long left hook but back comes Martinez again Really loading up with the shots. Martinez firing away. Aponte catching most of these shots on the arm. <laughs> Certainly a good test thus far for the 20 year old Aaron Aponte. Yeah, this is the moment here where Aponte should be using the jab. Just waiting a little bit too long. Plenty of feints, plenty of jabbing, head and body, like I say, I sound like a broken record, but these are the, the moments, the perfect opportunity to get into a nice rhythm behind that shot. Closing in on the final minute of round two. And to your point, Darren, when you're, you're facing someone like a Martinez who throws his shots wide as he does, it, it's hard for him to counter if you're throwing a straight jab. It, it's, it's very difficult with the trajectory of his shots to throw something back. Absolutely. I mean, look, the direct move of oh, straight shots. You're seeing that better from Aponte there. Good, lovely jab followed by a right hand. Good work. Good left hook there from Aponte. That one rocks Martinez back on his heels. Yeah, like you say, that the, the better accuracy and speed is with Aponte. Final 10 seconds here of round two. We wondered if Aponte would make some adjustments. He certainly did, some solid work from the 20-year-old from Hialeah Gardens, Florida. Here on Before the Bell. Good shots again, long left hook, followed by right hand. Good work, better adjustments in that second round from Aponte. Yeah, good advice, I think, in the corner there for Aponte saying two steps, bring your feet in. There's a couple of times he was falling short with the shots, but you see there as he steps in, that's a beautiful shot. Credit to Martinez. He took that because that was flush on the chin. Really was. See him going with wide with the, the left hooks, and like you pointed out, he uh, goes wide with the, the counters, Martinez. So for Aponte, I think he's better off with the straight shot. The jab followed by that lovely, crisp, sharp right hand. Round three begins. This one's scheduled for six. Aaron Aponte and Leo Leon Martinez in the 140-pound division kicking things off for us. 
here from Guadalajara. Aaron Aponte with a good bounce back round in round two. Last saw Aponte scoring a six round unanimous decision over Luis Jordan on the undercard of Carlos Cuadras Bam Rodriguez back in February. That was just days after Aaron Aponte Day in his hometown of Hialeah Gardens. Developing a good local following, and uh, certainly in the Fight Hotel this week, we've seen lots of Alien King merchandise around. Yeah, we have. <laughs> it's uh, a different nickname to what I'm used to. Yeah, he's, uh, he's got a good, decent following. He's got a nice spring in his step. I think he likes his work in the second round. It's a lot more comfortable. Nice and relaxed. You see the shoulders, though. He's got a nice, high, tight guard. The shoulders are nice and relaxed, and... That will help him down the stretch when you're fighting in 10, 12 round contests. Don't want to be tightening up that guard too much because it does burn energy. So he's nice and relaxed, using the feet whilst stepping out of range, frustrating Martinez. And Martinez certainly a little less bold with his offense here in round three. Certainly came out firing in round one, but even just the, the footwork here of Aponte seems to have tempered that. Yeah. He's, uh, he's been very intelligent with the feet. He's always positioned in the, the right place. As I said, he gets backed into the corner, but generally does a lot of his good work from the center of the ring. When he gets pushed back, he takes a step back, steps to the side, and always navigates himself back to the center of the ring where you want to be. You've always got space behind you. the final minute here of round three a quieter round but quieter may be better for Aaron Aponte because that torrid pace in round one as we see a decent counter shot there from Martinez and a good left hook from Aponte the more frantic and, and frenetic the pace gets Darren it, it would seem to favor Martinez the messier it gets yeah I think so he's uh certainly loads up I wouldn't say he's necessarily the bigger puncher, but he certainly puts everything into the shot. And I think the only chance he has is to trade with Aponte, because at range here, there's only one winner. Good work from Aponte. Good right hand to the body, followed by a left hook. Never seemed troubled, though, Martinez. Certainly calmed the tempo of this fight down. It's one he looks extremely comfortable in at the moment. As we close out round three Ooh. with a good exchange right at the bell. Yeah, good work from Martinez right at the end of the round. It was a nice right hand. Yeah, it was a quiet round. Not an awful lot to really talk about. There's some good counter punches from Martinez, certainly at the end of the round, but it was controlled mainly by the footwork of Aponte. We just gliding out of range, avoiding anything coming back, as we see there from Martinez. I mean, if I had any criticism of Aponte, it may be just a bit more work with that lead hand. The jab certainly up and down, but. I like what he does. doesn't waste much. And you don't want to be falling short with your shots and wasting unnecessary energy. But as you go through the levels, you need to be able to go through the gears, up that tempo. But there's an awful lot to like about Aponte. Round four underway, and already Aponte, maybe you heard you, offering that left hand a little bit more than we've seen. Hasn't landed that jab quite yet, but to your point, just, just putting it out there, just mm. giving Martinez something to look at, something to occupy his eyes and his hands. Absolutely, and you can see Martinez, he, he wants to trade, so that's when you have the opportunity to, to find the counter shots. A having said that, is, it is extremely hot in this venue, so you can understand fighters not putting their foot on the gas. One thing, too, the young fighters like Aponte and like Anthony Herrera experience 
in their pro career, and I think both of them talked about this, is getting out of the habit of having that desperation to win every single round and going at 100% all the time that you would when you're in the amateurs, understandably. And sometimes it takes a little while to find your pro tempo, so to speak. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and, and I was one of those fighters exactly the same. It was, you know, just a desire to win everything, just a fear of losing a round. And certainly as you go through the ranks and you do the rounds, it, you know, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So as long as you're controlling the contest with the distance and the pace behind the jab, you know, you, you won't go wrong. It's a good left hook right along the belt line from Aponte a moment ago. <laughs> See the jab coming out from Martinez. There's not an awful lot of snap in the shot, and he's falling short. And that's when Aponte now should be trying to look at the right hand over the top of that jab. He came underneath with the right yep. hand instead, and now climbs the ladder with a good left hook. Really looking to plant his feet now, Aponte, in this fourth round. The right hand straight down the middle from Martinez. We just haven't seen enough of that from Martinez. Him straightening his shots have just been very, very wide and wild. Good jab from Aponte. Chopping right hand there from Aponte. Martinez starting to fire back. Shots to the body. Some catching the arms, but some sneaking in there as well. You have to say, these are the most competitive rounds of Aaron Aponte's young career. Yeah, I mean, look, this is invaluable. Doing the world of good. Martinez, he's kind of an unorthodox style. He's quite, you've seen him switch at times and offer different angles, etc. So he'll be learning with every round, just falling over the front foot there, slightly Aponte. Martinez, he's a tough man to beat. It's in blood. Tiny, tiny cut over the left side of a Ponte. Look at me. He's done. Let it go. Really? Let it go. No shots. See upon that really breathing heavily in there, and I think that's testament to the, the heat in this venue. You see, good work from Martinez, really, really letting his hands go. And Ponte, without a doubt, certainly felt a couple of those shots. He can really try and build off of that round, Martinez. Some deep breaths from Aaron Aponte, even as he came off of the stool. As round five begins, round five of six. And this will certainly be a theme throughout the night. As you mentioned, the heat in here, it's at least 90 degrees because that's what it is outside. And there is no air conditioning or fans in here, Darren, but also elevation. Again, we're about a, a mile or so above sea level. And for fighters who might have just got here during fight week, we might still be adapting to that. Yep, without a doubt. Slightly surprised at Martinez's approach in this fifth round. I really thought he'd try and push Aponte back. He was having real success in that fourth round, pushing the young prospect back. You see him now starting to close the space a little bit. Like I said, at range, there's only one winner, Aponte, the, the better boxer out of the two. But when it turns into a dog fight, I mean, Martinez has a decent. He's a shout. I think the, the vast majority of this fight so far, and certainly the good moments for Aponte have come because of his feet. You mentioned the spring in his step. He's always been a great athlete. He was a 114 pound defensive back in football and he was a baseball star before opting to focus solely on boxing. But you can see the, the athleticism in Aponte will certainly serve him well in his career. With, without a doubt. Really, really quick, nimble footwork. And, uh, look, 
we've already touched on it. He'll learn an awful lot from this fight, but he could have made this a lot easier with that athleticism, as you're talking about. In and out, sharp with the feet. You don't have to be busy combination punching threes and fours and fives, but you can go, you know, one, two, step out, back in with two sharp. That was a good overhand right from Aponte. A lot of people feel you need to be busy throwing combinations all the time. That's not necessarily true. You can be busy with ones and twos. You're smart on your feet. But there's, like I say, there's an awful lot to like from a Ponte. Very tidy Ponte. He has that really nice high guard. Looks for the counters. But he's going to be in some good fights, Martinez, that's for sure. Martinez landed a decent counter shot a couple of moments ago as well that caused his corner to erupt. Final 20 seconds here of round five. So Monte tries to oh, break the table with a left hook, then sneaks a right uppercut to the body. Yeah, that was good work. Right hook followed by a right uppercut. You don't see that very often. Good work. Some solid work from Aaron Aponte down the stretch there in round five. Yep, sound advice there in the corner of a Ponte. Be smart on your feet, in and out, like we've been talking about Corey. But it's been a frustrating night for him, and I think that's down to the, you know, obviously the conditions. But Martinez is a very unorthodox fighter. Drops his hands, he's, he's wild, he's wide with the shots. Like to say, off his different angles and always looking for trades. That sometimes nullifies the threat, stop fights working, but invaluable experience. A sixth and final round between Aaron Aponte and Leo Leon Martinez. A good competitive opener here on Before the Bell. Now, Darren, you pointed out the tactical advice in the corner of Aaron Aponte, but I think even more crucially, you heard them say, we're in Mexico, they're going to rob you, don't take any chances. <laughs> and, you know, I don't want to suggest anything nefarious, but clearly they're trying to motivate their fighter to step it up a little yeah, bit here in the final three Exactly, to, to sort of do what we've been asking for, Corey, you know, go through the gears, up the tempo slightly. He certainly, to me, though he's breathing heavy, should be able to to go through a couple of gears at least. Started the round with a nice one-two left hook. Just seeing a little bit more. Good work, lovely. One-two. See, just be busy with the simple shots. Good body work from Martinez in return. Good left hook to the body from Aaron Aponte. Martinez's corner imploring him to pick up the tempo as well. Oh, good right hand. Lovely shot. And again, Martinez takes it. Doesn't look dazed or phased at all. Three punch combination there from Aponte. The first two missed. The last one did land. Seems to miss. This is the first time that comes is that Martinez looks like he's been in the pace. One thing we haven't pointed out, Darren, this is also an interesting physical matchup for Aaron Aponte. A six foot, 140 pounder. He's in there with a guy who's 5'10, but looks like he might be even a, an inch taller. Yeah. He's not, and probably hasn't encountered too many opponents like this, at least not that frequently. Absolutely not. Could work again. There was that right hook followed by the right hook. That's a nice combination when he throws it. Aponte. Yeah, you can see now both certainly feeling the pace and the heat in this venue. I mean, I'm sweating just sat here, Corey, so I can't imagine doing one round, let alone six. And the fighter's getting to the inside, but being a little judicious with their punch output. It's Aponte who's got the best of the last few exchanges on the inside. And as you see the swelling underneath both eyes of Martinez, 
Ooh, the hard right hand there from Aponte, a 1-2 right down the pipe. As Martinez slingshots off the ropes and gets back to the inside. Final 10 seconds of this contest. Both men battling the conditions and battling right to the end. A very good test for Aaron Aponte here in our opener. Yeah, good learning fight for Aponte, that. In really, really tough conditions against an awkward opponent. You know, looking at that fight back, it was the, si the stuff that he'd done, the simple stuff that he'd done, made them the, the, the winner for me in this contest. You know, it was the simple stuff, the jab, the footwork, the one-two. It was when he started to trade and get a little wild with Martinez that he made life a little difficult for himself. But I think moving forward, like I say, there's an awful lot to like about Ponte. Very, very good fighter. Just needs to be slightly busier. Doesn't have to be wild, reckless. He's, a, he's a, certainly a talented boxer. It's the simple stuff. You know, you see there, he's just falling over the front foot, fire, uh, front foot slightly, and that allows Martinez to try and land that counter left hook. So you need to bring in your feet, double jab, followed by the right hand would probably be a better option when you're fighting someone who leans back and steps back like Martinez. But generally, it was a, a very good learning fight for him. Moving forward, he'll take an awful lot away from that. And like I say, Martinez, I look forward to seeing him in fights again. He's um, he's, he's going to be in some fight, uh, exciting fights, for sure. Yeah, there are certainly fighters uh, around the juncture of the career that Aaron Aponte is in that Martinez could really test and maybe beat. Without a doubt, without a doubt. I mean, if you stand in the pocket and trade with Martinez, they, yeah, I mean, he's got a very good opportunity to, to, to beat you and come away with the, the, the victory. He's, uh, he's awkward. He looks like he punches harder than pro well, harder than, than a lot of the guys in this division. All right, we are set to make this one official. Let's send it up to our ring announcer, Mr. David Diamante. Damas y caballeros, 10 jueces asaltos aquí en Guadalajara. Vámonos a la decisión de los jueces. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds here in Guadalajara, we go to the judge's decision. It reads as follows. Evelyn Cardenas, 58 to 56, Aponte. Simón Contreras, 58 to 56, Martinez. Juan Carlos Pulido scores this contest 58 to 56 for your winner by split decision. Decision de vida. At home, Aponte. So a split decision victory for Aaron Aponte. Darren, before the sixth and final round, Aponte's corner was wondering about the scorecards. They were warning him that you might be down on the scorecards. And indeed, one of the judges was seeing it that way. Yeah, they weren't far wrong, was they? And look, I, look, I thought Ponte won the fight. I thought the better work, the tidier work come from him. Uh, Martinez, I can certainly see why he could be slightly frustrated. But like I say, I look forward to seeing Martinez. I hope he gets another shot at one of the top guys. And Aponte, I look forward to seeing him and seeing how he's learned from this contest.